ako orong dito. And I said, I would stake my honor, my life, and even the presidency. Good morning, MPC. Happy Monday. Let's now have Presidential Spokesperson and Chief Presidential Legal Counsel, Salvador Panelo. Good morning, good, sir. Good morning, Malacanang Press Corps. Today is my birthday. Nobody's greeting me? Happy birthday! <laughs> Thank you, but got you there. It's April Fool's Day. First question, Joseph. Kumanta talaga kami, sir, di ba? Sir, uh, okay. First, sa uh, China, you're meeting with the... Uh, he's going here for the for a courtesy call. April Fool's Day? No, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you know so. That, that yes, he'll be coming. Okay, because... 2.30 p.m. Uh, agenda? He didn't tell me. Ah, so nagpasabi lang. Me, basta sabi niya, he will visit me. Are they taking over? <laughs> <laughs> no, but sir, um, any matters that you want to raise with, with him? Well, or the, them? Diba, uh, there were issues raised in the South China Sea. Siguro mm. I'll raise that. Like what, sir? Specifically, there are a lot of issues. He's a fisher man, diba? Mm. Totoo yun. Mm. Yung sa mga vessels. Militia. Hindi ano, circling. Hindi naman pala totoo yung circling. Talaga ang ABS-CBN, mahiling mag... <laughs> Nasaan ba yung... So what do we know, ba? sir, as far as that is concerned? Ano, because I, I want to call Maybe the attention... Maybe they're or something? I will call the attention of that reporter. Ang ABS-CBN. No, hindi. Ito, may, I'll read to you. Sinabi sa akin. Hindi, importante yun kasi nagiging it uh, unnecessarily raises some serious alarm. Hindi naman pala umiikot, nandun naka-standby lang. Nandun lang naka-standby, nagmo-monitor siguro. Monitoring. Monitoring. Okay, sir. Okay. Yeah. The reporter... Referring to the ABS-CBN reporter, sino ba? Sembrano? The reporter made an exaggerated report by distorting the total number of Chinese fishing vessels monitored in Pag-asa Island. She also used alarming statement as Chinese vessels, quota, have been circling Pag-asa Island, which was never mentioned in the briefing presentation. Like yung total daw ng 617, hindi mo pala totoo yun. <laughs> Kasi ang... Ang basis ng monitoring ng Western Command, yung bow. Yun yung part ng ship eh. Para iisa lang. Bow? B-O-W, bow. Kasi yun ang binibilang nila kung ilang araw nandun. Ang total pala, 275 lang. Hindi 617. Alright, sir, who are you quoting again when you said exaggerating the number and then uh, used alarming language? What, where, what are you reading from? It's uh, from the Western Command. Oh. Who specifically, sir? Let me see. Vice Admiral Rene Medina of the Western Command. Vice Admiral Rene... Medina of the Western Command. This it was, was forwarded to me by Secretary of National Defense, all right. Delphine Lorenzana. Sir, later it was their exchange, and it was just because I was asking. Uh, okay, so sir, can we get a copy later of the text also, huh? No, you, you portion it. Okay, read. so right now, what do we know so far? We we can only acknowledge two hundred seventy-five Chinese fishermen. Two hundred. 75, you said? Yes. Not These si are, they describe it as Chinese maritime. Uh, 
These are not the PLA. Hindi fisherman eh, ba ang tawag? May tinamay. People's Liberation Army? No. <laughs> no. Hindi, hindi. What, do you, what do you call that? Hinahanap militia? Yeah, yeah, militia. Tawag oh, they're saying yung... it's the militia. Parang militia ang, ang description nila. No, we have nila. to be definite, sir. Are they calling it the militia? Hindi, hindi army. Hindi rin, <laughs> hindi rin navy. So militia is it? Parang, parang ganun ang... I'm not sure. Basta, they're just stationary there. Okay, number two, Mga, fact. Kumisa na one day, kumisa na one week. Wala naman daw ginagawa, naka-standby lang doon. Or number one, 2275. Number two, you're contesting circling, but they are there, right? They're there, but they were not circling. <laughs> the pagasa, the reporter of abs cbn said. That so what's the difference circling. between circling and... Oh, well, ibig sabihin, pag nag-circle, may meron kang binabalak, meron kang stationary ka lang. Mm. Baka nakat nanonood ka lang o nakatingin ka lang. Why are they there, sir? I, uh, that I will ask the ambassador mm. if that's true. Are we not worried that they are there? Any, anything that concerns the security of the Philippines will always be a concern. This concerns the security? And I understand, oh, by the way, I understand we have already issued the diplomatic protest per the Western Command. Mm. The DFA has already made the diplomatic protest over it. Over what incident, sir? That like... incident on the so-called vessels being stationed there. Uh, would you know the date of the filing? No, I don't know. I will have to ask the DFA. Okay, you know, sir. Follow up, Ina. Sir, if we file na po pala tayo ng protest, then it would imply that we see something wrong with their presence oh, Definitely. There. Because mm -hmm. the mere fact that they're there and just staying there for a week, why? Okay. Are you going to ask um, the Chinese yes. ambassador to perhaps get the vessels out of there, of the area? No, we will ask who, if this is true and as far as they're concerned. And number two, if it is true, why are they, what are they doing there? But wouldn't we file a diplomatic protest without verifying if it's true or not? Yeah, on their part, because there may these people may not be within the knowledge of the Chinese government, di ba? Tiri natin alam eh. Kung yun, ikasama nila, inutusan nila, part of their group. Sir, there was a report that came out over the weekend um, quoting uh, BIFAR official telling Filipino What's BIFAR again? Uh, Bureau, Bureau of uh, Fisheries ah. and Aquatic Resources um, telling our fishermen to avoid Panatag Shoal Tama, Panatag, ano? Panatag Shoal for the meantime para daw makaiwas ng uh, well, medyo vague yung um, statement, makaiwas ng uh, some incidents. So what, uh, what is that? Bakit ganon? Why are we telling our fishermen not Hindi to fish there? We will ask BIFAR. Mm -hmm. I, I, I have not received any report on that yet. Okay, but what guidance does the palace have for our fishermen who often go there? Well, first, if it's true that there has been a diplomatic protest per the Western Command's information, then we have already done our part. And let's see how they will respond to the diplomatic protest. Sir, last. Dun sa 275 po, was it mentioned in the yeah. text message to you? Um, yeah. Yung period... Is that 275 quarter, at that time? The first quarter of 2019, from January to March. Jan to March, yes. that's the peak number. No, you must say the quarter, you know, total number. Okay. Okay, follow up. Ace Romero, I'm sorry. Sec, so, clarification. So, ano po yung prinotesta? Hindi, hindi ko alam. Basta yung, basta yun ang pakalagay. We already informed the FA and we understand the FA has already issued a diplomatic protest over it. Recent po ito? I think so, This yes. week ba? Or hindi ko alam exact. ang exact date. I do not know. Pero very recent lang. We will ask the FA exactly when Sek, ito yung and quote the contents nung, of the protest. Ito yung quote nung BFAR regarding dun sa panatag. Sabi niya, Refrain muna natin na pumunta doon for the meantime and concentrate on our municipal waters. Kasi yun nga ang pinangingisdaan natin. Just be careful at may mga dapat tayong pangilagan for the meantime. What, eh kung yun ang feeling nila, di, 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 siguro wala namang mawawala kung di natin sundin. Akala ba namin nakakapasok na freely yung mga fishermen doon sa area? Hindi natin kasi alam exactly, malaki yung lugar eh. 
Baka isang portion lang ng lugar. Panatag, sik. Yeah, but uh, malaki yung panatag. Hindi naman isang kapiranggot lang yun. Di ba? So we have to exactly know where, how, when. But the point of the matter is we have already made a diplomatic protest over such an incident. And I hope to take that up with the ambassador today. Okay, po. Okay, follow up, Maricel. Good morning, sir. Sir, just to be clear about it. So, ano nga po yung guidance ng Balacanang doon sa ating mga fishermen na nangingisda doon sa Panatag? Do you advise our fishermen to follow the advice of BIFAR na iwasan muna yung area? First, I will, we will ask BIFAR kung ano yung kanilang statement and why they issued the statement. But for now, while waiting for the clarification from BIFAR, what should our fishermen do? Eh, kung anong dati nilang ginagawa. Meaning, nila. meaning, go on with the fishing. Eh, kung area. dati naman nilang ginagawa yan at wala naman nag i sa kanila. So, what if it is true na meron talagang humaharang sa kanila o tumataboy sila doon, sa kanila doon sa area? Ano po yung... Well, then we will make the necessary protest. But their immediate response, ano po yung guidance ng Malacanang? Sino yung pwede nilang lapitan? Ano yung well, if it, is in, if it endangers their safety, then we should tell them not to. In the meantime, in the meanwhile. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. May follow up? Other issue? Joseph? Um, follow up, sir. Yes. There's also um, a report from the inquirer that said that there are foreign vessels. Foreign, can I quote, sir? This is another official, Marine Lieutenant Colonel Elpido Factor, who is the AFP Western Command's Assistant Chief for Unimide Command and Staff for Intelligence. Anyway, so he said, um, and I quote, foreign vessels monitored in Pagasa Island are all fishing vessels deployed in the vicinity of the sandbar. The highest number of Chinese vessels recorded in a single day was 87 last February 10. But we are willing to acknowledge so far that there are Chinese vessels in the era, yes? We're not contesting that fact. If that is what they said. Mm. Are we going to raise this with uh, uh, Ambassador Shao later? Yes, I will ask him. Because that concerns, it concerns us because again, for soundway purposes. But it concerns our visitor man's safety as well as our security. Anything that we would ask the Chinese government to do with regard to this? No, we will ask them first why. Okay. First, if they acknowledge such fact that is determined by us. Number two, ask them why they're doing it. Number three, we will politely ask them not to. Not to what? Not to do what they're doing. Okay, sure. Thank you. Questions? MPC? May follow up? Other issue, Joyce. Sir, may cabinet meeting later. Yes. Uh, what's the agenda, sir? Wala, hindi ko pa nababasa yung ano. Will the president be announcing <coughs> sino yung mga sisibakin daw po niya sa pwesto? Most probably. Wala pang sinabi. Questions? Ace? Kasama ba sa pag-uusapan yung SEC yung Chinese workers? Mm, hindi ko. Ah, hindi ko pa nakita yung ano eh. Yung ah, sorry. subject matter. I mean, dun sa meeting nyo mamaya with the ambassador. Will you raise that? Yeah, well, I will raise that. Ah, ano particular tatanong niyo? Oh, hindi yun. First, yung incident sa fisherman, kung doon ang tinataboy. Number two, yung mga vessels, kung anong ginagawa doon, kung sa kanila ba yun, ano. Eh, with regard to the workers, ano po yung matter specific na... Anong workers? Chinese workers in the Philippines. Will you also discuss that? Mat, ano bang problema sa workers? Ah, uh, in gen... I mean, yung issue ng... Yung issue about the influx of Chinese workers. Yeah, but diba, very clear naman ang position natin doon. Kung meron silang permit to do business or to work here, okay lang. Pero kung illegally entering, ay ibang usapan doon. Okay. Salamat po. Questions? MPC? Uh, Tina? Maralit? Sir, on a separate issue po. Mm. Uh, President Duterte recently appointed former Colonel Alan, Alan Kapuyan as Executive Director of the National Secretariat of the National Task Force to End Local Communist Armed Conflict. 
Um, Kapuyan's reputation po is somewhat questionable given the fact that he was linked to corruption at the Bureau of Customs in connection with a 6.4 billion shabu smuggling. So, him being given another government post po, hindi po ba ito salungat dun sa policy ni Presidente against corruption and sa illegal drugs po? Since the President has appointed him to that post, then the President, I'm sure, knows what he's doing. So, sir, you're saying that Kapuyan... Well, maybe, maybe he doesn't uh, believe in the corruption charges. Sir, kahit po nabanggit na ilang beses yung pangalan ni Kapuyan sa Senate inquiry regarding the shabu smuggling? As I said, if that is the call of the president. Right. Thank you, sir. Uh, Pia? Sir, has the president started going over the 2019 budget? I suppose. I, I do not know, but I suppose because uh, it has been submitted to him. Sir, I sent a copy of the statement of uh, yeah. Representative Andaya, but uh, right now he's accusing the Senate of uh, cutting down the allocation for the Build, Build, Build program and other priority projects of the administration. And uh, apparently the Senate realigned them to other items based on requests of individual proponents. Sir, could you react on this? Well, that, again, that is an internal problem with respect to the two houses. They should resolve that. They're accusing each other with certain irregularities or acts in conflict with the Constitution. They should resolve it. Meanwhile, the president, I'm sure, will be factoring in all the statements made by both houses in going over the budget and then decide for himself. May I follow up the budget? Ralph, okay, yeah. Ace. Secretary, <clears throat> reports were, are quoting Sambalis representative uh, Montalia as saying yeah. that the president is expected to sign the budget anytime this week. Is this true? I, I really don't know. Possible by Hopefully. This? Well, the president, of course, wants to have a new budget, so I'm sure he is already doing his homework on that. So for now, he's scrutinizing the I think so, yes. Okay, skip MPC, questions? Okay, Joseph. May follow up muna sa budget? Okay na, budget, Joseph. So would you agree that it is now, the ball is now in Malacanang? Yes, precisely. That's why he is going to evaluate and scrutinize the national budget. Mm -hmm. So the intramurals between the House and the Senate is irrelevant, correct? Not necessarily, because they're raising constitutional issues among themselves. Mm -hmm. And that will be factored in, in the consideration of the president's signing or vetoing the certain provisions of the budget. Do you think, sir, that the president is in a precarious situation in the sense that if he signs this, he's going to sign an illegal document that contains potentially corrupt uh, laden provisions. You're assuming that the document is illegal. I already said mm -hmm. that anybody <coughs> who says that it's illegal, it's an opinion. Mm -hmm. It's only the Supreme Court who can finally say that it is illegal or not. It's just an opinion. Mm -hmm. And the president will make the, the determination. And he's a as correct. I said, he's a lawyer and he'll know whether a document or certain provisions of a document is illegal or not. Um, would the palace ask for the list of these realignments from the Congress, from the House? I think the, the Senate has already made such statement, and the House also made enumerations of alterations or amendments to the budget. Mm -hmm. So there is no need for that. It's published. Mm -hmm. Sir, yung pong last na lang. Um, so we're saying that if he signs this, this is going to be a culpable violation of the Constitution. How can you say you don't even know whether it's illegal or not? Again, it's an opinion. Mm -hmm. If it's an opinion, so it's not a final say on the matter. The Supreme Court will be the one to resolve that. Okay, sir. Okay, may I follow up? Ina? Questions? Uh, Janeline? Hello, sir. 
Uh, sir, will the government support an investigation into the killing of 14 farmers in Negros Oriental? Because some groups say this was a massacre and not a legitimate police oh, but operation. But we have already a report on that. It's a legitimate police operation. The search warrants were issued by a competent court, and they were implementing that. And the 14 of them fought with the gay law enforcers, and they were killed in the process. Twelve of them were arrested and are now doing the process, legal process. Sir, some say that the government is uh, deliberately targeting farmers with supposed links with the communists. Is this true? You know, that, that is the usual statement issued by those who are linked with the Communist Party of the Philippines. But the fact remains is that the people subject of a search warrant have been identified as suspects in certain ambushes, assassinations, assassination attempts. So it's police operation and backed up by documents. And the, the, the courts believe in them. And that's why they issued these warrants. Okay, Pia? Sir, can we get a palace reaction on the recent takedown of Facebook of uh, a network of uh, Facebook pages and accounts organized <coughs> by President Duterte's social media manager, Nick Gabunada? First, we, I don't think the president has anything to do with those Facebook accounts, which was initiated during the campaign or even during the assumption of his presidency. He doesn't know anything about it. Even if uh, Nick Gabunada is his social media manager in the I do not know campaign. whether he is a social media manager. What? During the campaign? Uh, I do not know of that uh, appointment. First time I've heard of that. Pero sir, can you say that social media played a big role in the election of President Duterte in 2016? Social media, but both sides are or were very active during the campaign. So still the people who decided, and most of them are not with social media, the overwhelming majority that voted him into office, I don't think they have <laughs> Facebook accounts and whatever. But These the, are the masses. But is the president aware that he benefited from these social media accounts by, uh, organized by Nick Gabunad. You must remember that since both sides are active, you, you will never know whether you benefited from that or you lost in the fight. Th these are between the two sides. What, to my mind, what is important is overwhelming mass of our people voted him into office, and majority of them are not into social media. These are the masses. And the campaign promises of the president as a candidate resonated with them. That is why they elected him into office. So, mananalo pa rin siya, sir, even without social media. So, the, uh, the contribution of social media Definitely. Was His time was just right. The, the Filipino people needed somebody like him. And his entry was just the appropriate time. So basically, sir, you're saying that the uh, contribution of social media, um, particularly itong mga accounts na to and the pages, had very little to do with his uh, election victory in 2016. As I was saying, both sides are very, were very active, and in fact, and even now, they're still active. But as far as si President Duterte po is concerned, not taking to account the other side. The president uh, is not, hindi siya yung tipong interesado sa, ano eh, sa mga Facebook account. Hindi siya yun eh. Siya yung tipong he'll just give you his policies and then enforce them. Ano siya eh. It, 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 it doesn't matter to him whether you criticize him, you assassinate him. Wala sa kanya yun eh. Oh, hindi, siya na, hindi siya bothered nor disturbed nor distracted by anything that will be an obstacle to his goals as president of the republic.
Sir, there were several reports way back uh, which uh, claimed that President Duterte benefited from these kinds of accounts weaponizing the internet or social media. Um, he benefited because these accounts um, pushed fake news or attacked his political opponents. What do you say about that? Sir? But you know, as I said, both sides were active. So both sides could have benefited from those interchanges. So, so you're saying more so President Duterte because he actually won in 2016? It could have contributed. Pwede rin namang hindi. More on the masses ang, ano eh, ang boto sa kanya. Ilan ba ang ano? Have, do we have a survey how much ang social media? Come again? 90 percent? You must be kidding. <laughs> Sir, ito na lang. Did the uh, government money uh, uh, fund uh, no, I do not think fund so. these ano, mm -hmm. this network? No. I said the president has nothing to do with that. And we will not allow that. Thank you, sir. Rosalie, may follow up down? Oh, Rosalie. Sir, good afternoon po. Sa meeting niyo po kay Chinese Ambassador uh, later, mapag-uusapan niyo po ba about kay Michael Yang? Maybe I will raise that as an issue. As a uh, subject matter, unless he doesn't want to talk about it. <coughs> Paano pong raise the issue, sir? Will the palace give... Michael Yang a chance to clear his name and talk to the public. Ba, akala ko ba clear na ng PDEA sa KPNP chief? Yes, you mentioned that. Sabi nga nila, hindi nga nila alam kung the same person ang being referred to eh. So, sa tingin niyo po, there's no need for Michael Yang to clear his name sa public. Hindi ko alam. That's for him to decide for himself. Mm. I'm not concerned. But, uh, na-meet na po ba ng Pangulo ulit si Michael Yang after the allegations? I do not know. I have no personal knowledge. Sir, what can you say about those who are saying that Michael, Michael Young can be another Peter Lim who met with President and then later on may allegations of drug links and now fugitive? Na That's po. an opinion. An opinion. Yes, sir. But is there a possibility that he can also release ng HDO or immigration watch list against Michael Yang dahil po sa mga allegations? Wala namang, they have to prove their, whatever charges they have with Michael Yang, if it's true, then file the charges. We cannot be doing this in media or social media. Another question. Last, sir, um, will you encourage Michael Yang to attend Senate investigations regarding the that's, allegations that's against him? That's for him. My encouragement or discouragement is irrelevant. As a former He's economic advisor. He's the person po. involved, so he decides for himself. He looks for a lawyer, not, not me or anybody else in this government. Uh, bilang isang dating economic advisor ng Pangulo, will well, you encourage then, That's for him to decide, mm -hmm. Rosalie. That's for him to decide. Thank you, sir. Okay, MPC, no more question. Aman, Danielle, PTV. Sir, good afternoon. Sir, yes. possible din kaya ano, uh, talakayin sa cabinet meeting yung ano, pag-release ng narco celebrities. Hindi ko pa alam kung anong subject matter. Pero, sir, I will know that an hour before the cabinet meeting we will be given the subject matter. Thank you, sir. Okay. Questions, MPC. Joseph, no more? Congratulations, MPC. <laughs> MPC Okay na? Okay, thank you, Chief Presidential Legal Counsel and Presidential Spokesperson, Salvador Panelo. Thank you. Thank you, MPC. Back to our main studio sa Radio Pilipinas and People's Television Network.